Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. The other day, Henry Stumpy Greywolf and I were cleaning our rifles. Next to his horse, a ranger values his Winchester 30 6 rifle the most, and he keeps it sparkling clean and ready for instant action. His life may hinge on the dependability of his rifle in time of danger. Of course, the old-timer doesn't use our standard equipment rifle. He's got old Betsy, his bolt-action 30 30 with an extra-long barrel. But who can shoot like the old-timer? As we cleaned our rifles, we got to making chin music about the old days. Henry always likes to hear the old-timer talk about the narrow escapes he's had. And then I had a surprise for the boys. But it's about time for us to get into the story. And here it comes. The Prehistoric Monster. Say... I can see my face in the barrel of my rifle. It's so clean. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's your face doing inside your rifle barrel, sonny? Huh? That ain't no place for it at all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Here, take a look. Oh, there's a clean barrel. Mm, yeah, let me see. You have plenty of good luck now. <laughs> you brag about how clean gun is. <laughs> you said it, Gray <laughs> Well, old timer, what do you see? I see a speck of dirt. What? You do not. No. Let me give a good long hard look. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yes, sir. There it is. Plain oh, nose on your face. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> let me look. Uh, sure, go ahead. Well, you're pulling my leg. I don't see any dirt. <laughs> you don't, eh? Well, I do. Where? Down in the rifle in at the business end of the barrel. Hey, you put that hunk of dirt in there. Are you <laughs> sure it wasn't there before? Huh. I'm positive. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I did put it in there. Oh, I, no, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you play a <clears throat> dirty trick on me. Oh, I didn't either. <laughs> I was just looking to see if I could get his goat. <laughs> what a friend you are. <laughs> well, that's all right. You can't put dirt in my rifle barrel and get away with it. <laughs> hey, there's a good idea for a new song. I'll get my harmonica. Oh, wait, wait. What's a good idea for a new song? You can't put dirt in my rifle barrel and get away oh, with it. <laughs> oh, terrible. Oh, really? <laughs> hey, I've got a surprise for you fellas. Oh, yeah. huh? What's that? What can hmm. huh. yeah. hey, look at that. Yeah. Well, Oh, man, is that a beautiful wow. rifle? You say it, Henry. That is peach. Gentlemen, this is the Weatherby Mark V 460 caliber. Hmm. What? Yeah. 460 caliber? What are you going to shoot, bull elephant? <laughs> ah, I say, wow. Well, look at the size of the barrel. I don't expect to shoot bull elephants with it, old timer. But I've always wanted to have an extra high-power rifle just in case. This one would stop a freight train in its tracks. Why, that piece will not only stop a freight train in its tracks, but it'll make it back up a couple of blocks. While the fellows were giving my new rifle a going over, there were other things going on. Over at Canyon City, a small circus was bedding down for the night. 
This circus has a small but fine collection of wild animals. Two lions, two tigers, two leopards, an assortment of bears and other animals. Then they have their feature attraction, a full-grown and very unhappy rhinoceros, the last of the prehistoric monsters. Jeff Kling owns the circus, and he's inspecting the animal cages before turning in for the night. Well, the rhino's all put to bed, Jeff. That's good. How's his disposition today? Uh, pretty quiet, boss. Where's Shorty? Over at his trailer, tucking his family in for the night. You fellows keep a sharp eye on that monster. Understand? Uh, sure, boss. Hey, maybe we'd better give him some more sedative. Keep him quiet until we get the new cage. Forget the dope. Seems to make his disposition worse than when he doesn't have it. Afraid it gives him a hangover. Yeah, it could be it does, all right. Let's take a look at the lashings on the cage once more. Sure. Hey, what's hey, going on there? It's mean tonight, pretty, huh? It's pretty nervous to me. Oh, don't worry about that, Jeff. He's just getting a little exercise. Okay, Shorty. Just make sure he doesn't exercise himself right out of his cage. A neat rifle. Oh, I don't know about that, young feller. <laughs> what? You must be joking. Nope. Only thing about that piece is it's brand spanking new. Won't do no better than old Betsy here. This time you're wrong, old timer. Is that so? Why, I can stop any critter that this new one can with old Betsy. Why not agree? Well, look at difference in caliber. Size don't mean much. It's how you use it that counts. Old Betsy here never misses. She shoots straight and true. I agree with Grey Wolf. Why, this new rifle runs circles around old Betsy. Why can hold a heavier powder load in the cartridge? Sometime, Sonny. But it ain't always speed that counts either. When you got a mad critter like a grizzly bearing down on you, just itching to tear your limb from limb, sometimes them big powder charges go clean through. They don't bother the critter much at all, either. You gotta have a heavy enough charge that'll stop them. The first shot, especially if you're alone. Don't be rough on the old-timer, fellas. He's got his favorite rifle, and he's such a perfect marksman that he can drop any large animal threatening to attack him. Now, there's a fella that's got his thinking cap on. Now, wait a minute, Stumpy. Henry and Grey Wolf are right, too. How many men can shoot like you can? Well, lots of men can. Well, that's a matter of opinion. Anyhow, I'd like you to break in my new rifle for me. Huh? I wouldn't touch that newfangled piece for love nor money. Why not? Good old Betsy here can take care of anything it can. Old Betsy's getting tired out, you know, Stumpy. I don't know any such thing. And sooner or later, I'll prove it to you. All right. We'll let it stand that way. Only I hope when the time comes, it doesn't cost somebody a trip to the hospital. What was that noise? I don't know, Shorty. Hey, 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 what was that crash? Shorty, lefty. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, no, the rhino's gone. Oh, I'm sorry I fell asleep, Jeff, but I was exhausted. Me too, boss. I tried to stay awake. Never mind that now. Let's get all the men together on the double. Hey, hey fellas, hey, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, boys. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Quiet down, men. Quiet down. Quiet. Quiet. As you know by now, the rhino's on the loose. We've got to catch him. Hey, yeah. We ought to get the rangers and the police to help us, boss. Not yet. That would be bad publicity for us. We'll split up into two groups. Grab your white rifles and get the horses. Shorty, you take one group and I'll take the other. Right. Lefty, you stick with me. Sure, I'm ready. Get your guns and mounts and divide into two even groups and make it fast. Come on, fellas, let's go. Let's go. You want me to get some gear in the truck to capture the rhino? It won't be necessary. There'll be no capture. Hey, Storm. Pull your head back here before you get stuck with that fork. Hey, 
Crazy King, stop nosing the hay out of your bin or I'll leave you go hungry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Take it easy, Bess. Go get your hay. Here you are, old girl. Well, that wraps it up, young feller. Yep. Let's head for home. Oh, wait a minute. So, uh, I want to ask you something. Huh? What's the matter? Why won't you test Bill's new rifle for him? Well, I'll tell you, Henry. It, uh, uh, I well, think you're uh, hurt. Because Bill told you old Betsy isn't the gun she used to be. Am I right? Well, we uh, sort of. But not uh, exactly. Well, you know as well as I do that the barrel on old Betsy doesn't have the strength to hold the heavier charges used in late model rifles. <laughs> Who says? Well, I do. I know you hand load all your cartridges. Why? Oh, you baby that rifle something fierce. Maybe I do. But she always comes through for me, don't she? Well, can't you see that's why Bill's asking you to test his new rifle? Why, it's a compliment to your experience and ability with guns. Uh, uh, it is. Oh, certainly, sure. Why, oh, you know what to expect of that new rifle. Come on, hop on it. Well, uh, Ah, no. Stumpy Jenkins. Why, sometimes you're so stubborn, why, you'd put a mule to shame. Is that so? Yes, sir. It is. Well, you mark my words and mark them well. Someday old Betsy's gonna have to do a real tough shooting job. And you'll find out that an old gun is just as good as a new gun any day. Put that in your cud and munch on it. Little did any of us, including Stumpy, realize how true his words were. Jeff and his man worked hard trying to track the rhino... But by sunrise, they gave up in despair. There wasn't a tracker among them, and common sense overcame their fear of the loose rhino. The two parties met for a conference. It's no use, Jeff. We can't find that rhino any more than we can find a needle in a haystack. Yeah, we're wasting our time out here. We better get some experienced help, boss. Yeah, you're right. We're no match for these canyons and valleys. Could walk right into the beast and not know it until it was too late. I don't want anyone hurt. Mm, what are you going to do? Uh, we better call the rangers. Let's get back to camp. I'll call from the nearest phone and we'll grab a bite to eat while we wait for them. Hello, Ranger Headquarters. Henry Scott speaking. This is Jeff Kling calling. I have a small circus camped outside Canyon City. Our rhinoceros has escaped. Ah, uh, now, wait a minute, Mr. Clink. You don't expect me to swallow that hook, line, and sinker, do you? This isn't a joke. I was never more serious in my life. Oh, well, oh, hold the line a minute. Bill! Bill! Oh, yes, pal? There's a man on the phone. He says a rhino escaped from his circus. Well, let me talk to him. Hello, I'm Bill Jefferson, ranger in charge. I'm telling you the truth, Mr. Jefferson. My men and I have been trying to track the beast all night, but we just have been wasting our time. Where are you camped? A mile outside of the north limits of Canyon City and Highway 18. Uh-huh. We'll leave here at once by helicopter, and you'd better be on the level. This is not a joke. By the time it's over, I'll probably wish it was. <laughs> you know, young feller, we've hunted a lot of varmints and critters, but this beats them all. Yes, sir, a genuine rhinosaurus. <laughs> rhinoceros, Stumpy. <laughs> huh? Well, what's the difference? As long as ain't a hipper rhinosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a laughing matter, really, fellas. That beast is extremely dangerous and a real killer. He's the last of the prehistoric monsters. Yeah, you said it. Boy, wait till the gang at school hears about this. Uh, Henry, I want you to carry my new rifle and make sure it's ready for action. Yeah, sure. Hey, there's circus camp below. Mm -hmm, right. Waiting for us, too. I'd be waiting for help, too, if I'd be in Jeff Kling's shoes. Maybe I have more trouble than he cares to know. Well, you fellas be ready to climb out as soon as we land now. How 
long do you take it, think it'll take you to catch him? I don't know, Jeff. All depends on the plainness of his trail. I'm near sick with worry. Suppose he kills somebody. We haven't time to worry. I uh, hand pick two men besides yourself to go with us. Shorty, lefty. Right. Well, when do we leave? Jeff, you and your man go with Stumpy and Grey Wolf. They'll track the rhino on the ground. Okay, but can't we start where we left off this morning? Who's doing this, sonny? You or us? What old timers say is that rhino may be double back, and we catch that in trail sign. We ready now, Bill. All right. Uh, Henry and I will scout ahead in the copter. We might spot him. Keep your walkie-talkie open. Ah, uh, we do. But we're old timer. He's got a half mile start already. <laughs> you fellas are going to have to step on it to keep up with that human bloodhound. <laughs> this has been monotonous, Bill. Yeah, I know it, Henry. Back and forth, back and forth. Mm -hmm. All we do is scare bears and deer. Yeah, be hard to spot the rhino, too. It's got that natural coloring, you know. Yeah, I never thought of that. Hey! Hmm? Hmm? See him? No, but uh, that old barn looks like it'd be a good place for him to hide. Well, yeah, you might have something there. Uh, Grey Wolf. Yes, Bill. About a mile in front of you is an old barn. Is the rhino heading toward it? Ah, his track's not turned yet. Now, uh, we'll meet you on the rise, up ahead. Good. You'll be plenty careful. Compter might spook rhino to charge you. Roger. Oh, boy, I thought I was in condition. But I guess not. And you fellas keep in such good shape. Oh, come on, let's rest. We've really been moving. You can rest a spell now. Uh, Hello, Bill. Hello, Grey Wolf. Uh, are your companions complaining about the rigors of fast travel on foot? Uh, maybe have small <laughs> breakfast this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been mighty small. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you fellas ever get tired. <laughs> My tongue's been hanging out for half an hour. Don't drink very much water. You'll feel it if you do. Yeah, just enough to wet your whistle. Now say, young feller, uh, what about that old barn down there? What's the trail sign show, old-timer? Shows that Mr. Prehistorical Monster went to the barn. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's so funny about that? It's not prehistorical, Monster Stuffy. It's, it's prehistorical. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> you say it all right, son. How about that? I must have got my tongue all tangled up in my eye teeth so I couldn't see what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, but Stumpy. maybe I said it right after all. <laughs> what do you mean, Stumpy? Wouldn't you be kind of prehysterical if you finally got out of a cage and had your freedom? <laughs> You're right there. But how are we going to find out if he's in the barn? Well, we'll circle around, half go each way, and we'll meet on the other side. Well, what are we going to do that for? To see if the beast is still in the barn. If there ain't no trail leading away from the building, we know he's still at home. Well, maybe that is a good idea. Well, I suppose you'd rather go up to the door of the barn and knock and see if Uncle Rhino is to home. <laughs> I've got goose pimples now. He's in there all right. He sure is, sonny. He sure is. And now we got to smoke him out. When do we close in? Take it easy, fellas. This isn't just a turkey shoot, you know. Not even a grizzly shoot. That big fella is armor-plated. Hey, hey, that's right. That baby's a walking battleship. You've got to hit him right or we're all in real trouble. All right. Uh, Grey Wolf. Yes, Bill. Can you hit the pile of straw just inside the barn door with a fire arrow? Uh, I think so. Hey, take time to make bow and arrow. Well, go ahead. Take all the time you need. Uh, I work fast as I can. I'll help you. Good. We go find hardwood sapling to make bow. How's the rhino going to get out of the barn? There's fire in the door. 
You just watch him come out. He'll make his own door. He sure will. Without even breathing hard, neither. I still don't get it. The valley behind the barn leads into the canyon of a thousand fingers. Uh, now, I get it. Both sides of that canyon are lined with smaller canyons. Dozens of them. We'll trap him in there so we can destroy him as quickly and as painlessly as possible. And there won't be any danger of the rhino getting wounded and escaping to rip up the whole county. Uh, that's what I want. Bottle the beast up so he can't do any damage. Uh, what makes you so sure he'll go into the canyon? I'll ride herd on him with the copter. I guess you have all the answers. I hope so, Shorty. Shoot when you're ready, Grey Wolf. Uh, uh, I'm ready now. Okay. I won't take off until our friend has made a new door. The copter might spook him out the wrong way. Uh, light torch, Henry. Right. <laughs> Perfect shot. I shoot once more. Right. <laughs> ah, right in there again. <laughs> Hey, there he goes! Watch out! There he goes! Just man. Hurry, Bill! He's turned away from the canyon! He turned him. You turned too with that chopper whizzing around your head. Bill's got him heading for the canyon now at full speed. Whoa! He's turned again. Get him, Bill. You oh, see, for a minute I thought he was going to break for open country. I had the rhino boxed in a natural cage where he couldn't do any harm to life or property. I called for a fire crew to watch the barn burn to make sure a grass fire didn't start up. Fortunately, it was an old and unused building that was no longer useful. It had been deserted for years. Stumpy, Grey Wolf, Henry, and the rest of the men circled around on the high ground to meet me, where I had again landed the chopper as Stumpy calls it. Now, I was faced with the unpleasant task of destroying the rhino. I knew we could never bring the full-grown beast back into captivity again. Well, young feller, now what? Are you and I going to sneak into that canyon and finish him off? No, it's too dangerous on foot, Stumpy, or even on horseback. You're not going to leave him in there. He might get out. We'll finish him off, Jeff, as much as I hate to do it. Yeah, I know how you feel. There's nothing else we can do. A baby rhino we could handle, but not a full-grown one. I'm sorry about this, Bill. I really am. I know you are. Uh, Stumpy, I'll spot the rhino from the copter. When I found him, I want you to finish him off from the rim of the canyon with my new rifle. One clean shot. Well... Okay, but I'd rather use old Betsy here. She won't do it, Stumpy. I say she will. One clean shot, too. Bill... Forget it, pal. Okay, Stumpy. You can use old Betsy to do the job. No, you're talking my language. Uh, just one thing, old-timer. Yep, I'm listening. One shot, and only one, you understand? Why, sure, I understand. Old Betsy here picked off a charging cougar in a mile, didn't she, a while back? Yeah, yeah, she did. What makes you think she can't do the same at a quarter of a mile? Well, Stumpy, that animal's got an armor-plated hind. Well, I'll use a grizzly charge on him. Okay, have it your way. But you better not miss or you'll answer to me. I don't want that beast to suffer one second. Destruction must be quick and complete. Can you 
see him, old timer? Stop is trying to get into position, Bill. The overhanging ledge seems to bother him. I was afraid of that. I'll try to flush the rhino out a bit to give Stumpy full advantage. Okay. What's the matter? I don't know. I'm going to have to land on the canyon floor. No! Another rhino charge! I can't stop now, pal. I've got to land on the, the momentum of the rotor. Well, I still have a chance. Or I'll, I'll crack up. Run for it! I'd never make it. He'd nail me for sure. Stumpy, it's up to you. Stumpy, the rhino's moving out in the open. Now's your chance before he charges the copter. Yep, he's a good target right now. You missed! He's charging! Stop screaming and give me that new rifle! It's too late. You'll never stop him now. Oh, come on. He's down! But is he down for good? Be careful. The rhino might be playing possum. Good shot, old-timer. The rhino's dead. Go ahead and suspend me, Bill. I'll take my medicine like a man. You saved my life, old-timer. I couldn't suspend you. What would I suspend you for anyhow? Well, first of all, I was such a pig-headed fool to think your new rifle was better than old Betsy. And second, it took two shots. Uh, by the way, who zeroed in my new rifle? I didn't. Well, uh, I did the other day. I uh, just didn't have anything else to do. <laughs> You're a rascal. You knew old Betsy kind of slips a bit on the long shots, didn't you? Well, uh, a fella likes to give an old friend another chance, you know. Bill, I want to thank you and your men for helping us. You saved our jobs. Ah, oh, forget it, Jeff. It's all in a day's work. See ya. What happened to that first shot? Did it really miss? Nope. Here's the bullet, old-timer. It just buried itself in the rhino's hide. He didn't even know you hit him. Well, what do you know about that? I'm glad there ain't more of them prehysterical monsters on the loose. <laughs> And I'm glad, too, old-timer. One narrow shave like that will last me for a long time. Well, see you next week for more adventure with 